Okay, so the power flows from the battery to the motor, right? Wrong. If you want to actually be able to control your plane, you'll need a receiver, an ESC, and some servos. The receiver, well, receives. The ESC, electronic speed controller, controls the power flow to the motor for throttle control. The servos operate the control surfaces, such as the ailerons or the rudder. That's an easy enough fix. Just apply power to the receiver through the ESC, and the receiver can then relay that power to the servos. But if, hypothetically, your receiver can handle the 8.4 volts my 2S battery produces, then you need a BEC, a battery eliminator circuit. Basically, what it does is that it steps down the high battery voltage meant for the motor to a safe lower voltage for the receiver and the servos. Now my receiver can handle 8.4 volts. That's why I said hypothetically. But what I didn't realize is that my servos couldn't take the heat. While I was testing some wiring off camera, I made the mistake of connecting the battery with its high motor voltage directly to the receiver, which then bounced that power to the servos. So my servos can only handle up to 6 volts, which is less than the supply of 8.4 volts. So they started smoking. I forgot to use a BEC, and that's what got me. That's why I'm ordering these new servos, and that's also why I was soldering in those connections.